Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. When we look at images and video from Antarctica, sometimes it is very difficult to give an idea of the scale of what we're looking at. For example, this particular iceberg that I'm showing here is called Larsen C, and it's 200 miles long and only 600 feet thick, basically the proportions of a credit card. It broke off some time ago and spun full 270 degrees in an amazing amount of time, and we have an animation real quick before we get down to Google Earth Pro to show the new discoveries today. I wanted to show this because it's twice the volume of Lake Erie. The size of Delaware, it's huge. It is a huge chunk of water, basically, that just broke off. And when you look at it and you see how it breaks off and moves, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Remember, 200 miles long, 60 feet thick. Pardon me, 600 feet thick. They're just going to show it again here real quick. This is basically just a bunch of stitched together satellite photos over the years. But this is another one. It's called the Thwaites Glacier. And it's partially on land and also partially in the water. So it's not displacing as much ocean water as it could as if it broke off. And it's mind-boggling. This piece of ice isn't the size of Delaware, it's the size of the state of Florida. And it would change things around the world instantly if this thing were to end up in the water. But there's also 
this strange event coming out of Antarctica that's kind of hard to explain. What you're looking at here is not the continent of Antarctica, but Australia. There's this huge push of cold air that has recently come straight up out of the continent for really no explainable reason. Three separate cold fronts combined together, and they're getting massive amounts of snow down there. And the Chinese, the Chinese have built this, what they dubbed the Snow Dragon, to go down there. They have six bases now. They're up to six bases in Antarctica. While a lot of mainstream media talks about the Chinese and their um, interests in the Arctic, on the north side of the globe, they don't talk much about what's going on down there. And it's going to have ramifications very soon. But without any further delay, where we're going to be looking at today is over near, I guess, the 2 to 3 o'clock region. Now, we have, of course, these three different maps that we use. The larger one, of course, is Google Earth Pro. Upper left is a British topographical map, and it is what is actually under Antarctica right now. And the, you can see the effects of the weight of the ice. And where we're going to be at is, I don't know if you can kind of see it up here where my cursor is, in the upper right. There's a little spit of land that goes out. And we're going to be directly in here, in this region. This map over here is basically an artist's rendition of what Antarctica used to look like. It's very similar to Australia, just tipped on its side. In fact, I did one video where I put them side by side and they're virtually identical. But once again, if you look over here, this little spit of land right here, it's kind of hard to see. There's a couple of ranges of mountains where I found some very interesting things today. So without any further delay, let's get rid of these real quick. Alrighty, the first thing we found, of course, is another one of these saucer exits. Now we found multiple ones of these all over the place. And there we go. This one was, was of course hidden in the shadows. And you see the strange, and I'll zoom in here real quick so you can see it. It's perfectly the shape of a saucer. It's under this mountain and above it there is this strange directly above it place on the top of the mountain where there is this cleared part of snow that really makes no sense at all. And there's another weird 90 degree thing right in front of it. I'll try to zoom in to get closer but right here see if I can clear this up. Sometimes the camera work on this is really, really tough. It looks like it might be easy, but to get it just right so you guys can see it is very difficult. And I will, of course, try to put the coordinates down in the description box, but struggling with Google, just like everyone else is on YouTube, and uh, I can't really make any promises. I do encourage people to go and try to discover this stuff for themselves. I mean, if I can do it on Google Earth Pro, so can you. Now, here, once again, under the snow, we see this, whatever's under there, is a perfect 90 degree, what looks like remnants of a wall or some type of a building site. It's just not natural. This just doesn't happen in nature. When you look at this, and I'll go ahead and, and, and pull up a ruler just so you can get some perspective on how big this is. We'll measure this out in feet. This section here is 770 feet right here. And this section down here is, oh, about the same really. About 770 by 770. Pretty unmistakable if you ask me that that's that's hand of man, hand of other. 
The next thing that I labeled, I couldn't think of a good way to label it, but I called it organic snow displacement. Because when you look at it, let's see if I can get a better image of it here. There we go. You have this big area here of just undisturbed snow. And anybody who's lived in the north knows that if there's anything under there that's not supposed to be there, the snow will reveal it. You know, and you'll be able to see it from a long way away. You know, a farm field will covered in snow looks like this giant white blank sheet. If there's even like, let's say there's a deer carcass out there or something like that, you'll be able to see it from half a mile away because of the disturbance in the snow. And all of a sudden we see this almost what looks like a spine. I hate to say it, but it looks like something very, very large. And the way the snow displaces, it's just not a natural thing. It wouldn't remain this way unless there was maybe perhaps some heat source down there. Otherwise, the wind would turn it into, you know, basically a nice smooth mountain like we see everywhere else. The next thing I have labeled peaks and towers. And let me see if I can get the right year on this. Here we go. Sometimes this is just a matter of finding the right date to get the right image. Now, when we look at this line of mountains, they look very normal, very natural, kind of rolling. Some of them have peaks. But when we look at the shadows... We see anything but, especially this last one, there is no way, no way, that's a natural shadow. And when we look at the mountain that is attempting to cast that shadow, there's just no freaking way that that's real. Either they've scrubbed something on the mountain out of the image, or something very, very, very strange is going on with a light. I've just never seen anything like this. I've seen long shadows at night. Believe me, we all have seen those evening shadows where you, you know, cast something much larger. But the way these are shaped, they're just too symmetrical. For, for the thing that is supposed to be casting them, just these mountains, to see these peaked out like this, just no. The next thing I have labeled is very close. It's called missing structure for shadow. And once again, the imagery here is only about a month off from the last one. And there's three things right here in the same area that I can cover. I want you to look at the side of this mountain real quick. And look at this. It's a third of a mile long. I have a red line on it. Perfectly straight line down the side of a mountain. Perfectly straight. And it is from the tip to the where I have measured here is a third of a mile. The, the there's nothing that would make this image in nature. I just I've never seen anything like it. And I've tried to go to places like South America and Africa and different places to find other mountain ranges to compare, to see, well, maybe this is just the way it appears in satellites. And nothing like it in the Rockies, nothing like it anywhere. And when I, meet, when I said missing structure for shadow, look at the shadow. Now look at the mountain. There is nothing... On the top of that mountain, look at the jagged weirdness and that just doesn't exist here. And the next thing I have labeled here is it's called strangely behaving snow. Look at this snow allegedly on a 90 degree cliff face just stuck perfectly. just unbelievable you just don't see imagery like this anywhere else other than Antarctica you don't and 
I thought I had one more for you guys. I guess I don't. Oh, I did. I did. Um, it's just something that I had discovered earlier. Let's see if I can zoom out and find it. It's just very close. It's just not in the recent stuff. Here it is. Now, this one was from a long time ago. And I want you to look at this shadow. Okay. And you see how it's very, you know, distinct, very narrow. What's supposedly casting that shadow is right here. And when you zoom in to see the thing that's casting that shadow, off to the right, it's throwing off purple light right here. And it's throwing that purple light down off onto the ground or onto the slope. It is a very, very weird image for what's just supposed to be rock, that there's this huge, immense just tower sticking up off the top of this mountain. And you have to zoom in close to see it. But it's throwing purple light. And there's also some very strange square images on top of this. Whatever this is, this is not natural. So, anyway, 14 minutes. And we will leave it there, but just wanted to cover this. And the Chinese are sending their snow dragon to Antarctica. And they're going to be building a nuclear icebreaker very soon to send down there to operate indefinitely so you'd have to wonder why like share subscribe would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable first 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you and thank you so much. Hot time, 12 o'clock and six miles. What is this 
attack they're looking for anyway. It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond, Green King. 